Hello everyone, KaiderDustin99 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to homebrew your Nintendo Wii. Uh, this is pretty easy for the most part, and it's not going to take too long. Um, all you're going to need is an SD card and uh, obviously a Nintendo Wii. It doesn't matter which version you have, I think except the family, the no not the family, the Wii Mini. But if you, as long as you have a original Wii or a family edition you should be all right so yeah let's get to it i will be using the letter bomb method i know there's a lot of different ways on how to install the homebrew channel but the way i'm going to be doing it today is through letter bomb so let's get to it first what you want to do is go over to your wii options and then go to your wii settings then what you want to do so Keep, make sure you remember your, remember this in the top right corner, which is your system. It's like current system update and your, and the U is for your region. You have either U for, for United States, E for Europe, J for Japan, or K for Korea. So something, but we'll get to that in a bit. So what you want to do is go to internet and you want to go to console information and there will be there will be this mac address i'm gonna blur it out well i mean my webcam is blurring it out but there's still some of it left but yeah whatever it says here on your mac address like i guess like write it down or something like that and and just keep it for later or at least for this next step as you will need it to install the files for the homebrew channel and see your Wii's MAC address and yeah just write whatever is down on here for this next step another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that your SD card is formatted to FAT32 as that is the file system that the Nintendo Wii supports um think like at least like two four or 32 gigabytes should work f for this for uh this tutorial I'm using a 64 gigabyte, which isn't really compatible with FAT32, but you can format it to FAT32 for it to work on the Nintendo Wii. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, let's get to the next step. The next step is you want to go to this website right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I will put it into the link in the description. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Please.hackme.com now go back to so here's your system menu version if you don't remember just go back to your Wii settings and and just check in the top right and remember uh 4.3 u is for us so for the u is for us e is for europe j for japan and k for korea i'm obviously going to choose the 4.3 u because the Wii i'm using is american now you want to type in your mac address and like I said, and hopefully you wrote it down. So, so what, as once you've wrote it, wrote it down, you can just type it in here. So I'll be back for this step. All right, I've typed in the MAC address. Do the CAPTCHA, the I'm not a robot. Now you can cut either the red wire or the blue wire. It does not matter which one you choose. It They both do the same thing. So I'm just going to cut the blue wire because why not? And there you go and it's just wait for it to download and it's done and as you can see mine's done downloading then what you want to do is go back go into your files um sorry about that that's all my videos maybe some up and coming videos that are coming soon okay so you can move it to your desktop if you want to it doesn't matter just extract it um so yeah okay you can see there you go it's extracted and just um, then you can just drag all these files into your SD card so just go here and then just drag all the files in here and there you go all right now that we're back on the Wii what you're gonna do is just take your SD card and then you're just gonna put it into your Nintendo Wii um, there you go you can see it detects right there as you can see so yeah all right so 
we're gonna go into the Wii message board and I think it should appear either on the today the tomorrow or the yesterday calendar so we're gonna go back to yesterday and there it is there will be a letter with a bomb in it and it has a little SD card icon so we're just gonna click that we're gonna let it do its thing and yeah so as you can see it's saying that uh, let me just turn off my webcam for a second um, on there you go it says that this software must not be sold and yeah pretty much if you if pretty much if you like pretty much if you sell like a homebrewed weed then it's pretty much illegal because uh it this is supposed to be free and you shouldn't be paying for like a uh, homebrewed software so that's a little warning that they give you and for further detail they give you the website so as you can see it says press one to continue so we're gonna press one on the Wii remote and there you go so I'm gonna move my webcam over here okay so it says and it will tell you what it is all right it says the homebrew channel can be installed and boot me can only be installed as an iOS so yeah pretty much if it says it cannot be installed then just don't don't try to install it <laughs> so yeah install the homebrew channel yes continue and it'll just do its thing there you go success then I also say install boot me as iOS so try that yes continue yes all right there you go now turn to the main menu and now you can exit there you go and you should be brought into the homebrew channel there you go as you can see you you are now in the homebrew channel uh and yeah you can pop pop the bubbles here which is pretty nice so now you're finally able to install some homebrew software and i'm going to be showing you that within these next few videos so there you go i that is how you install the homebrew channel uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video adios okay never mind i forgot in an extra step here so what you want to do is go to launch boot me now you do not use your controller for this one you have to use the Wii console button so the power okay so pretty much you're gonna be controlling it with the power button and the reset button the power button is pretty much for you to scroll and then the reset button is like your a button so what you want to do is go to I think the gears icon there you go and then you choose the first option and then click reset and now you just let it do its thing it shouldn't take it sh it will take a bit but i don't think it will be too long so yeah i'll get back to you once this part is done thank you guys so much for watching for reals now uh, i love you all see you in the next video